Question number 41. In this question, a 500 kg boat is 9 meter long and is floating without motion on still water. A man of mass 100 kg is at one end and moves to other end of the boat and stops. The displacement of the boat is something that we have to calculate. Dear student, since the initial center of mass remains at rest of the boat and the man combined, the displacement of the center of mass will be zero. Or the, we can write down that velocity of center of mass will be zero. The displacement of the center of mass will be m1 delta r1 vector plus m2 delta r2 vector. This is zero. Now delta r2 is the displacement of boat with respect to ground. We can write down that m1 into 9 plus delta r2 plus 500 delta r2 should be equal to zero. From this delta r2 will be equal to minus 900 by 600 and that will be minus 1.5 meters. So the boat moves 1.5 meter relative to the shore in the direction opposite to the displacement of the man. Meaning that for this question, the correct answer should be option number 3. Now let us move to the question number 42. Question 42 says, two particles of masses m1 and m2 attract each other with a force inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. The particles are initially at rest and released. The which of the following is correct? Dear student, the internal forces do not lead to any change in the velocity of the center of mass. Therefore, the particles are initially at rest. At every instant, the center of mass of the particles will be at rest only. And hence, the correct answer for this question would be option number 3. Let us move to the question number 43. Question 43 says, Mass is distributed uniformly over a thin triangular plate and coordinates of the vertices are given. The coordinate of the third vertex is the center of mass of the plate lies at origin. The student for a triangular lamina, the center of mass coordinates are equal to the average of the vertices coordinates. So this will be equal to 1 plus 2 plus x by 3 and 3 minus 4 plus y by 3. For this to be at origin, this should be equal to 0 comma 0. This means that x plus 3 by 3 would be equal to 0 and hence x will be equal to minus 3 and y minus 1 by 3 equal to 0 which means y will be equal to 1 and hence the coordinates of the third vertex will be minus 3 comma 1. The answer for this question therefore would be option number 4. Moving on to the question number 44. Question 44 says two blocks A and B of mass 2m and 3m are connected by a massless string. The whole system is suspended by a massless spring as shown. The magnitude of acceleration of A and B immediately after the string are cut is respectively. Dear student, when the string is cut, the state of the spring does not change immediately and this is the concept that we have to use. The spring force Fs here initially will be equal to 5 mg. As the string is cut, the tension becomes zero and the block B falls freely meaning that its acceleration will be g downwards. For 2m mass, the acceleration will be net upward force that is 5 mg spring force minus its own weight 2 mg divided by the mass 2m and the student this will be equal to 3g by 2 upwards. Hence the acceleration of A will be 3g by 2 upwards and the acceleration of B will be g downwards. Meaning that the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Now let us solve the question number 45. In this question there are two blocks as shown in the figure. The masses are given as 170 kgs and mu A is 0 0.2, mu B is 0 0.4. And the coefficient of limiting friction between the blocks in the plane are the mu a and mu b as just discussed. The force by the bar on A is something that we have to calculate. Dear student, let the force be P. So this is P and this is P. This is in fact the tension. Now on B, there will be a normal N in this direction. There will be mg downwards. In this direction, it will be mg cos theta. On A, there will be a friction Fa. On B, there will be a friction Fb. Now, let this system have an acceleration A. We can write down that 170g sin theta plus 173 sin theta 
this is the net weight down the plane minus 0.2 into 170 g cos theta minus 0.4 170 g cos theta that is the net frictional force up the inclined plane should be equal to total mass into acceleration now from this we can actually substitute the values and write down that 1700 into 8 by 17 into 2 minus 0 0.2 into 170 into 10 into 15 by 17 minus 0 0.4 into 170 into 10 into 15 by 17 is equal to 340a. On solving this, we get a value of a to be equal to 35 by 17 meter per second square. Now, dear student, let us solve for the this is the acceleration that we require. Now for A, we can write down the net force that will be 1700 sin theta that is the net weight down the inclined plane minus P minus 0.2 into 1700 cos theta will be equal to its mass into acceleration. Substituting the value of A, we can calculate the value of P and that P will be equal to 150 Newton. Meaning that for this question, the correct answer is option number one. Dear students, this concludes the discussion on the quick solution of this AIATS. I hope you understood all the solutions. I thank you very much for watching. Best of luck for your future endeavors and God bless you all.